Good morning. It is currently half past three and due to the fact that I have been doing way too many night shifts lately, my sleep pattern is all over the place. Sorry. And uh, I'm going to be needing a lot of this stuff today. Anyway, given that I don't uh, start work for five hours, I decided I would give you a tour of the wonderful, wonderful town that is Tennant Creek. This is the uh, wonderful accommodation I have been put up in by work. It is basically a prefab. Most importantly, it actually has two split system air conditioners in it, meaning that it is thankfully lovely and cool. So instead of sleeping, I have been up just uh, messing around with my laptop and my new camera. Yeah, if this was an episode of Cribs, I'd be saying this is where the magic happens. Don't think there'll be much magic in Tenant Creek. Okay, so the sun's coming up. I figured I might as well get some nice sunset views from the top of the hill out here. And I'll give you a little bit of backstory on why in the name of God I keep ending up in this very random little town in the middle of absolutely nowhere. Oh my God, there is like a million dead bugs on my windscreen. Sorry about that. So, I lived in Melbourne for five years and in 2014, I think I'd just gotten a bit fed up with living in a huge city. I'm not really a city kid. So I decided, do you know what? I'll go work in the outback. Now, I had initially applied for jobs in um, Darwin and in Alice Springs, but me being the sort of idiot who tends to just go ramming both feet in, I uh, decided to take a job here. And I remember the first night I came here, to say I got a little bit of a shock is putting it mildly. It's quite far removed from Melbourne, as you can imagine. In fact, to this day, I still struggle to believe that where I am now is the same country as Sydney and Melbourne and Perth. It's kind of insane. There is massive amounts of poverty here. Needless to say, most of it is amongst Aboriginals. And um, I found that very confronting when I first came here. You'd see, like, just hordes of Aboriginal people just roaming the streets. And then when the sun went down, the place actually sounds like a war zone. All you can hear is cars screeching around the place, shouting, fighting, all that sort of stuff. And the first night I spent here, I was actually completely terrified, thinking that someone was going to break into the house, or that I was going to be robbed, or that I was going to be beaten up, or worse. I was bloody terrified. To add to it, I started work a couple of days after I got here and I came home to the house I was staying in to find that my dog had been stolen. Thankfully, he reappeared about a week later after I think whoever had him got word that a large grumpy Irish man wanted his effing dog back. Needless to say, it was not the most fun I've ever had in my life, and that week was particularly horrific. Okay, let's get the uh, good camera out and get some sunset, uh, no, sunrise views. And there she is in all her glory. At one point in the 1920s or 30s, this place actually had a population of 30,000 people or more. It was a gold mining town. I love gold! And um, the gold dried up, of course, and as such, the population has dwindled to the 3,000 or so that live here today. It's weird how a place grows on you. As I said earlier, when I first came here, not only did I not like the place, I was actually kind of terrified of it. And it's funny. I had the chance to come back and I grabbed it with both hands. It's not a bad sunrise either, is it? 
Man, that's beautiful. All right. Shut up. Don't want any copyright infringements, especially not from Damien Rice. Plus, I guess I don't want it publicly known on my YouTube channel that I still listen to Damien Rice. I'm such a sensitive man. Anyway, I need to go find coffee. One eternity later. Okay, now that I'm suitably caffeinated, let's go for a little look around the town, shall we? This is the main street. There's nothing really much to say. There's the El Dorado Motel where I stayed the last time on the right. It's uh, really got very basic services. There is Wyatt Motors, which is a car dealership slash pet shop, interestingly enough. I could spend thousands of dollars in there if I wanted. Although, most of the cars they have are old and crappy. The bus depot. There's one pub. And basically it. There isn't a whole lot to tell you about the place. You know, most of the interesting stuff around here is in its mining heritage, or... You don't really... get people coming here to go on holiday, shall we say. It's usually people just passing through, or else people coming here to work. Sorry about that sun. Right, we'll, uh go out and have a look at the old mining stuff. Right. Here's the mining centre. You can see all of the old mining stuff there. Oh, that little steam engine thingy looks cool. Huh. It's probably about all there is to see without, you know, having to go in. Oh yeah, not much else I can tell you about the place really. Like many of the little towns along the Stuart Highway in Central Australia, Tennant got its start when they built a telegraph station here. Central Australia is littered with these, they're about every 200 kilometres or so. And um, what they were was basically there was a telegraph line running from Melbourne, which is the richest city in the British Empire back in the day, all the way to London. And what this place was is that people would come work here for years at a time, they'd grow their own food, slaughter their own meat, everything, and would sit in the building, which I will show you with the drone, endlessly repeating signals that were going between Melbourne and London. Remind me to never ever complain about my job ever as long as I live because that sounds like absolute hell. So that's it from me. I have to actually go to work now. After all, that is what I am up here to do. Weirdly, for such a complete backwater in the middle of nowhere, there is a lot of cool stuff here. 
and I'll show you a couple of more awesome little things you can find around here on the next video. Anyway, I'm going to go and drink more coffee and then go to work.